the ordinal and nominal models are related in an interesting way and understanding the relationship can may help you in choosing which modeling approach to use. This article by Fullerton in Sociological Methods and Research presents the following categories. So they have uh, 12 different categories organized along two dimensions, approach to comparisons and uh, parallel odds or uh, proportional odds or parallel lines assumption here. And we have the most constrained model is the traditional ordered logistic regression analysis that I cover in another video. And then we have the traditional multinomial logistic regression analysis that I cover in another video. And uh, then we have these uh, 10 other modeling approaches can, that can be understood as, as lying somewhere between the multinomial model and the ordered re or normal ordered logistic regression model. Instead of memorizing all these models and what they do, let's take a look at the, uh, the dimensions. And uh, the first dimension is the approach to comparison. And uh, the idea of approach to comparison is that we are predicting a slightly different thing in these, these different models. So the cumulative we are comparing, uh, we are predicting uh, the log of, of one outcome, uh, log of odds. So we have odds of one outcome less than uh, one or one or more, for example. So we have we are comparing two outcomes. If you if your score is is at one or more than one, for example, at two or more than two. So that's the normal ordered approach. Then you have the stage approach, and the stage approach uh, asks or answers slightly different questions. It answers the question that are uh, what is the, the given you have reached a particular value, what is the probability of going beyond? So for example, given that we know that the response is, is at least two, what, is the, uh, what are the odds or what's the probability of the response being more than two? And these kind of models are useful when you want to uh, test theories that predict that, for example, people or companies uh, follow through different stages. For example, if you want to uh, explain technology adoption, first the person hears about technology then they uh, make a decision of whether they want to uh, try the technology, when they try the technology, whether they start using the technology, when they use the technology, whether they abandon the technology. So this is uh, kind of like a model that, um, that uh, tries to explain how you, you continue following through stages. So that's a stage model. And then the adjacent comparison is, is comparing uh, one category against another one exactly. There is no uh, no like one category and more than one. It's an exact comparison between two categories. Then we had the, uh, the other here, the other approach, uh, the proportional odds assumption. The first assumption is that uh, the effects of the explanatory variables are the same for all values of y. So this is the normal uh, parallel lines for proportional odds assumption so that you only estimate one regression model that explains uh, all values of the dependent variable or, or all categories of the dependent variable at the same time. Then uh, we have uh, the least constraining, so effect of the explanatory variables are freely, var very freely between values of y. So the choice between uh, living in Finland to living in Sweden uh, is explained by different variables in a different way than the choice between living in uh, Finland versus living in Norway, for example. And then we have uh, two different categories that uh, are allow some effects to vary and some effects are constant. For example, uh, we could have that uh, the, the running in a running race, you could say that your, your stamina is a long run race uh, that uh, pr uh, predicts how well you do. But then also uh, being able to run really fast the last 100 meters, that predicts whether you're going to be the first or second or something like that. But it doesn't really predict much whether you're at the 10th or 11th. They are, these two comes in different two variates. The, the common factor means that uh, we, we constrain the effects of, of some variables to be proportional to each other, but we allow the strengths of those uh, variables to differ between the different categories. So how, you, how do you choose your, your modeling approach then? Uh, you need to uh, consider first what is the nature of the phenomena that you're explaining. Is it a rank? Is it something that you continue along like a stage model? Or is it uh, just comparisons between two adjacent positions? 
how do you present the variable? How do you uh, explain the transitions? Is the effects going to be the same for, for all transitions? Or are the effects going to be different within each transition? So that's uh, the question of how your theory explains the phenomenon. And this is a very useful framework because it allows you to make a, take like a bigger picture of uh, how do you want to model your categorical and possibly ordered variables.